So win a bracket semi-final without a break in between. Foggy continues his climb towards the top four, which must be his goal in this group or in this uh, entire open qualifier to get back to the pro division. He's facing his old practice partner, Sini, with whom he pretty much learned how to dominate orcs in older patches, though. And Sini is a guy who can play Night Elf and Orcs. So it was really cool to practice with him back in the day. But yeah, since Sini got a little more competitive, um, I don't think they're practice partners anymore. At least I haven't heard that in a long time. So another best of three. Uh, for the winner, this day is over already. As he qualifies for tomorrow's round of 16. Sini with a fast year opening, so he will definitely be a bigger threat to Foggy than Wawa was. Wawa was. <laughs> Dota 2 TI Grand Finals. O audience leaves because LGD didn't make it to the finals. China's so good. Don't generalize everything in the warcraft tournaments the chinese audience is cheering moon over every single chinese player ever maybe if sky would come back then maybe that's a different thing but moon got more cheers than infi moon got more cheers than th moon is the most beloved player in china foggy they love him happy they love him i think they love lolite as well not too sure but yeah, don't don't generalize. China can have a nice community as well. And that's the case in Walker 3 most of the time. They can be savage as fuck as well, don't get me wrong, but... It's not all of China. So, dual burrow here on Concealed Hill. Pretty much no scouting, I think. Foggy decides to go for the Keeper again, and this time it's a normal build. A player's forces are under attack. This time it's an earlier Huntress transition, an earlier Mass as well. Sorry. But on this map, an expansion is super hard. As the Creep Camp is very hard to take. So going for the Mass early, I think it's a good choice. Fossia is not harassing. You, of course, you can prevent level 3, but it's pretty hard. Tech has started. Foggy's tech will take some time. He's investing a lot into tier 1. He's not expanding at all. Is he just rushing and stay on tier 1? He's definitely dodging the Fossia, but see, seems to have no intention to go into his base and to fight early and to distract and buy time for the tech or for a safe tech. Uh, I recently discovered that I can ignore users really fast. That's such a mess. So it's just level three. Creeping. A very tame start, as I said, they know each other inside out. Foggy with some decent multitasking. This camp is rarely taken, so he sent some units in, trying to harass. There's no disable on Sini's side, so the Keeper with Entangle can again rain. Needs the staff, though, to get out soon. Ooh, gets that. Damage with four, uh, Chain Lightning is not enough. Survives with 17, but that was close. Speed Scroll saves the Grunt, actually, so Sini had a solution for this. And now his tier 2 is done. Oh, fuck, sorry, gotta change that. Still no tech, but an expo. 
Thank you, Granny Joe, for the sub. Expo is coming, but I feel it's too late. Depends how fast of a build scene he's playing. A fast one, Players not the fastest attack. one. It's Shadow Hunter Lodge Beastery. You can push with Grunts and Shaman. That would be even faster. And the Illusion scouts it right away. So this is gonna be hard. Tini is a little under pressure. And Foggy is buying good time. This attack, I like the timing of this attack, even though it's barely level 3, but he gets the kills. This run is dead, but we have Hex against this early. And a heavy use of Chain Lightning. Second time already. This run will most likely not tick down. Finally attack. But Foggy's game is really, really slow. No second hero for a long time. No progress on an eventual alchemist for a long time. But you gotta level the Shadow Hunter. We don't have disable on the orc at the moment. Raiders will most likely come, or is he going into Wyvern as well? I haven't seen anything yet. Oh, it's Wyvern. Okay. Once an easy solution. Oh, two grunts are about to die. One down. Speed scroll, but oh boy. That's rough for Sini and Foggy. I don't. Wait, there's a chain lightning, right? Using it. It's funny how. This is not only Twitch, but also YouTube. To provoke the chat to do something or to provoke some comments all you have to do is make a little mistake and like the overlay or uh, the video description or video title it's pretty much l like in school when the teacher does a mistake teacher teacher you misspelled that word you're there you see that you're not you're making mistakes as well you see that teacher <laughs> so funny But thanks. It's a three minute delay, so it takes some time. Alchemist second now. This entangle is still so sick. Again, a hard map because no mercenary camp. Surround on the Shadow Hunter. Well done by Foggy. Can he fight out? Nope. And that's so good. That's level four for him. More kills on these uh, Shaman. And you really want to kill them early. So they can't gather too much mana. Another grunt dead here. And he takes out both of the shaman. That's huge. Invo potion needs to be used. Or a TP. What's trying to block with the wolves. Invo potion first. He's really dedicated to fight out of there. And it works. Getting a kill. But as a bomb is so strong. I feel like it's not imbalanced anymore, this keeper alki combo, but it just has such a big impact. Alchemist about to die. Yeah, wolves are chasing, but it's the fast here forced into a TP for it. Hard to do the camera right here. Alchemist is not going to the shop. 28 HP, now he dies to the next shot. And the fast here survives without the TP. Nicely done. But in the midst of all of this, Foggy got the expo up, is mining from two bases, got a strong keeper of the growth at level 4 point something. And still 44 supply. But he needs the alchemist back for anti-air and he needs maybe some archers. He really wants... He really wants the scroll gone. I mean, there's not much else to attack. Good block by Foggy. Oh, that was so sweet. And this TP now. Oh, Purge. And TP. Okay, there was another Hex. Very soon. 
So getting out of there was good. Actually, there was just the staff. There was no TP. Or was it going into... No, it was just the staff. Risky play, man. But what can Sini do to throw Foggy back? Upgrades coming. Even an AP against this one. It's 1 0, it's 1 1 soon. Lightning Shield coming only now. It will be a good addition. It's only one Shaman. That has pretty much no mana. Foggy's Alchemist is back. Do we have? Yeah, we have consumables. Again, Foggy using the heal scrolls before the fight to not give an opening to kills. Now that might trigger the Invo Potion right there. Ooh, almost a surround in the fast here, but misses it. Invo Potion and Tangle. That's how you do a surround. Granted, that was easier. Moves the Keeper back. It's not affected by the Chain Lightning. And so he kills the Farseer. Is he? Acid Bomb might tick him down. There you go. So will the Keeper survive? Yes, he does. Wisp surround by Foggy. Oh, yeah. That was sweet. I mean, easy to get out, but still, he's stuck for more. Oh, no, it's actually not getting out. GG one for the highlight reels. Five Wisp surround. That was pretty sweet. And I knew this would happen, so I chose this game. <laughs> no. It didn't look too great for Foggy for the longest time. Or for for a bit. I think his progress on the keeper wasn't too good. But Sini ran in, into a fight that he really shouldn't take. Losing two grunts. Everything slowed down. Then losing the two shaman as well. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was Sini's fault, pretty much. So, get the invent to the second game, it's Last Refuge. Thanks, Duro. It's fixed. I'm a teacher, I could confirm, but I never make mistakes. <laughs> Now this uh, seriously baffling me, and I, th I tr maybe I, I should try that as a technique because if people comment on the YouTube video, it gets some engagement, and YouTube thinks, all right, uh, maybe we should push this video since it's like people comment on it, so it gets promoted by YouTube more. Maybe I should just use wrong titles to promote my own videos and then change it and. Comment there as well saying, oh, my mistake. Thank you so much. And then the initial commenter says, no problem. Thank you, man. Love your content. Boom. Three comments. Do you think that's a, that's a tactic I should go for? <laughs> Thank you for glory heaven. 11 month resub. Much love. So Foggy could just 4-0 his group here today. And with that, he would be in tomorrow's round of 16. Do we have some new results from the other group is the question. Uh, 14 Sway has 2 OTBC. Not bad. And Meteor has won the game that we uh, missed. It's Moon versus Angshi. Next. And yeah, Foggy could close this. That would be most likely the fastest open qualifier run on a day I have seen in a long time. Or maybe ever. 
Moon is following him. That's true. So now things are right. Sini in the bottom left against Foggy in the upper right. I can see another keeper right there. On this map. Balayat has experimented with Warden against this. Against Orc. And that did work to a degree. I was surprised to see that. And Foggy's build, like this expansion was really, really late. And the tech as well. But it feels like Foggy mastered the entangle and the orcs are not careful enough to play against this entangle. They engage without purge. Granted on Northern Isles and concealed, it's not too easy. Here you could go for the mercenaries to prevent that. But just dodge the fights if you can. Neo seems shaved. I did shave today. I did. Damn. I can't hide anything from you anymore, huh? Yeah, it looked a little wild. A player's force what the fuck? For glory heaven. Not only subbing, but donating as well. 10 euros. Breaking the target. Cheers, Neo. Thank you, mate. Greetings. Back to Warcraft. What do your co-workers think about that second job of yours? Being back to Warcraft. Uh... My boss is watching, a couple of people like it, but they are more interested in the travels I do than in casting itself. And most of the people don't know it because I I don't like to talk to them too much. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a great co-worker. If you want to be left alone, I am a great co-worker actually. So, Keeper has Entangled first, and Sini did not expect this. Oh, who's going for this? Was the Blade Master getting a big chunk of experience here. The Sentry Ward is great. But will this go on the cost of a Grunt? Oh, it could be a one-for-one -one trade, basically. Invests another Entangle. That's the last one. Archer goes down. So, if Sini can deny this, which he will... Or will he? That's rough! A player's forces are under attack. You and Remo play WoW at all? Not really. I played it when it got out, but only until level 20 and then the trial expired and I was young and poor. And couldn't afford it and didn't want to get addicted and continued to cast Walker 3. And without that, I most likely wouldn't be here. So, Sini is a little better than Wawa and scouts the Ancient Protector. But with more Entangle. Is he making sure to get... I think he should just cancel. Like, the surprise factor is gone. It won't have too much impact anyway. He could, if you want to, send a wisp to the other side and try it again. As he keeps him busy on the bottom right-hand side and creeping... The expansion is doable as, all, uh, as well. All about keeping the grunt numbers low. He's trading a lot of HP and mana for it. He needs to get this kill. This hunt needs one more attack. Ooh, see, he tried to deny it again. But finally, the Keeper is level 2. But 430, that's a good time from Sini's perspective for this. Yes, he's sacrificing a lot of his Blade Master experience as well. But on LR, you can catch up with that. Shadow Hunter to back this up and a lodge. So it's a Blade Master Shaman a play. This time, no beastery. This ward is really good, and this ward is really good as well. That was a lucky find for this Blade Master. So he knows pretty much everything about Foggy's game. If there's an expansion, if there's a surprise tech, if there's a surprise uh, tier 2 building. But 
got the war milk. Is he towering him with serpent wards? Without fighting level 2 treants, could be doable. Okay, Poison Ivy still pretty strong and still more entangles. Cooldown is rather low, but I guess he's out of range for now. <laughs> the Grunt Slaughter continues. How many Grunts did Foggy kill this day? 20? was a lot of kills against Wawa. So Shadow Hunter level 1, Blade Master level 1. And Foggy is in total control now. Why didn't the troll priest cast heal in a fire? Um I'm I don't know that yet. There is a way to attack this creep camp. So it doesn't cast in the fire. If people in chat know, please educate us. I never got it to work yet, but I didn't focus too much time on it. Player's forces are under attack. Finally some creeping. Sini needs a lot of creeping. If you attack the top priest before the first night, he's not casting anything. What the fuck? What, what kind of rule is that? Is he still learning that in a fire? But alright, we got the fight and... This is another grunt dead and another one. Seems like... Oh, heal scroll, nice. Level 2 for the Shadow Hunter, also nice, but the Shaman are falling now. Fuck his hunt control, seems good so far. Not losing too much. No, two hunts now. But it's always a good trade. Like, since you're massing hunts, you're back at six of them in pretty much no time. And Shaman need time to get their mana. But yeah, in the end, maybe a couple of losses too much. The so Sini feels comfortable. And he's still far away from the level 3. He won't get the consumable because Foggy is there already. Close to level 3 with full mana, flanking a little even. Circle Wards will buy a bit of time. But again, this Entangle Acid Bomb combo, man. Plus the damage from the chemical range. Hells yeah. Level 3 Keeper and... Level 2 was already hard to deal with for Sini. He's using another shaman, has no purge anymore. Yep, acid bomb, full damage. Is there a reveal? No. Problem is, serpent wards are not on a level that they really hurt. Oh, Alchemist. Late Master falls first, right? Yep. And the Shadow Hunter as well. Double kill. Foggy makes it to round 2. Boom. It took him exactly 70 minutes. And he made it. 4-0. There was no space for jokes at all. This was 100% series foggy today. And yeah, really good for him. Uh, really cool to see him not shaken anymore. Ice Ore has defeated Meteor in game one. Damn, Ice Orc is on fire as well today. So, I'm trying to get into that game as well, but it's... Oh, it is actually up. So, alright, we go into that game to see if Ice Orc is 4 owing the group 2.
That would mean that Foggy and Ice Orc are clashing tomorrow. 